morning, Robin. Good morning, Henry. And good morning, Arthur. Arthur? <laughs> good morning, sir. Uh, how are you? Hardy got a call from Don Rickles over the uh, vacation. I heard that. Yeah, how did was... you hear that? I, where was I listening? That I, It must have been on the news or something that Artie got a call from Don Rickles. Oh. Uh, Gary said Don Rickles' publicist uh, you know, called, and he said, Don wants to call you. And so I talked to the publicist, and he was really, it was like a surreal thing, because the publicist said, you know, Don saw Artie and thought he was really funny, and he said, God, this kid's funny. Like, kid, I'm, I'm going to be dead in three weeks. He me a kid. <laughs> and uh, he goes, hey, he really knows how to tell a story, this kid. You know, blah, blah, blah. He's like an old type guy, you know. You're old. Yeah. <laughs> you look old. He likes you because you look old. But you know what it reminded me of? Like when you said you got a call from Dangerfield after the tonight, Jelly. Like, this, right. this was yeah. thrilling. The most like thrilling thing ever. But you were talking about Don Rickles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But I mean, you know, still, he, he no, thought it was great. funny. Yeah. You know, people are funny when they talk about Don Rickles. Anybody could be. But anyone, I, anyone who goes out there and talks about me, Don Rickles, gets a call. They get a call. That's but right. the, I was afraid maybe he was insulted by what I said, because maybe I alluded to the fact that he couldn't remember lines. Or something. Then I'm starting to think of all the things I said. Maybe he's pissed off. But the guy said, no, he's very happy with it, and he'd like to talk to you. So I gave him my number, and sure enough, he calls, and I'm not fucking there. Oh. But did he, he left, leave a message? He did, which I have, you know, no permission to play. But basically, he said, he goes, he goes, uh, Artie, listen, don't fall down. This is Don Rickles. <laughs> uh, it's a shame that you're not there to talk to me. But listen, you'll get over it. Uh, I'll try to have a nice weekend. So, so he was Don Rickles on your machine. Right. And you know that celebrity move again that I've talked about where I can't have his number, of course. Right. So, but the weird thing is... <laughs> He doesn't realize technology, I guess. Big in my, uh, huge in my caller ID, it says Rickles Don. Right. <laughs> Not even a fake name, so I do have his number, I guess. But, uh, of course, I won't call back. He said he'll call back this week, so hopefully I'll be home to <laughs> sit by the phone. Yeah. You should give his number to Sal and Richard and let him bombard oh, him with, no. like, yeah, like, he'll just be, like, hate you for the rest of his life. Yeah. He'll yeah, have he me killed, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I was wondering what you thought of my big black cock. <laughs> hey, Mr. Rickles, my husband needs to get on the phone with you. I was listening to some phony, phony phone calls. Good morning, Robin. Good morning. And good morning, Arthur. Arthur? <laughs> good morning, sir. How are you? Hardy got a call from Don Rickles.